Hi, Yarna Bees. How are you today? I'm Sandy, if you are new here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have some lighting issues because the light is starting to come in. And yeah, we'll just move on past that. So, what have you been up to? I know I haven't been around. I'm going through a few things. Uh, but I... <laughs> The thing that I've been going through the most is these two sweaters that I have been trying to get finished. See, she's naked. Yeah. I've been wanting to get these two sweaters done so that I could show you the other, the one sweater that I finished. Uh, I just finished it last night at 2.30 in the morning. It's in the dryer right now. So hopefully before the end of this video, I will be able to show it to you. The other one... Uh, there's a story to go along with that. <laughs> um, I, I did the front panel. I started doing the second panel. I ran out of yarn. I ran to Michael's and I bought five, five black skeins of yarn. Came home. The minute I touched them, I went, this is the wrong yarn. I was supposed to go to Walmart. <laughs> I was like, I am not going to Walmart right now. So what do I do? I started making a new sweater. <laughs> oh, so I started making that sweater and it's all bobble. So I thought, okay, I can do this. So I started doing the back panel and I, all I was going to do for the back panel was double crochet. Well, it ended up being this much too wide because I guess with the, the bobble stitches, uh, it shrank it up a little bit and then the double crochets makes it wider. It stretches it out. So yeah, even though you have the same amount of stitches, it, yeah. It was like, oh my God, what am I doing? So I ended up having to frog it back and I did bobble stitches on the back. <laughs> oh, I'm in bobble stitch hell. Oh, um, I, I'm learning how to do bobble stitches really well now. <laughs> so, but it's finished. Uh, so I, I washed it and it's in the dryer and I will have it here shortly. <clears throat> okay um on to the next thing it was george's birthday a couple days ago on the 12th and thank you so much for all your well wishes i tried to get him on camera but he is so busy right now he hasn't had a chance to sit down and, and do anything <clears throat> excuse me because we're getting ready for craft fair coming up on Thursday and he's working on top of that and you know it's just been crazy so he tells he said for me to tell you thank you thank you thank you so much um hopefully I'll be able to get him on camera and, and put a little clip in here if not just know that he thanks you immensely um he had a great birthday uh it was low-key because we stayed home because we had to um so i made him homemade lasagna which i've made like twice in my life for him <laughs> so uh and i got him an ice cream cake from dairy queen so here's the pictures you know i must really love this guy oh, yeah. and he's watching the fights <laughs> I'm making him homemade lasagna. Oh. It's like, ooh, bell layers. Woohoo! Yeah, today is his birthday lasagna. Um, so yeah, it's, of course, I can't eat ice cream 
because I'm lactose intolerant. But it was it was for him more than me. <laughs> so uh, he's going to take a few days to eat that whole cake. <laughs> I did. I made the big mistake of eating a, a slice on his birthday. Ugh. Let's just say I was up all night. Um, I was not feeling well at all. So, um, yeah, so I didn't do that again. So it's all his. <laughs> And I can't eat the lasagna either because of the tomatoes. So that whole pan of lasagna was for him. I made myself Alfredo, spaghetti Alfredo instead. So, um, yeah, made for an interesting day. <laughs> so, but, you know, he's um, moving on. You know, age doesn't stop him in the least. Uh he's slowing down a little bit but he's he's just like yeah age is just a number um okay so i've been watching a lot of videos and uh, either i'm not getting the notifications or i just have way too many videos that i've been watching because i got a whole bunch on my feed and the ones that i usually watch aren't coming up so I don't know what's going on, um, but I, I came up with um, Angela from the Precious Yarnery. Holy man, girl, she's starting to make sweaters and uh, she's doing a really good job. I'm really impressed. Uh, she is so happy with these sweaters that she's making. You need to go check them out. I've got her link down below. Uh, they are pretty. And they look so warm and cozy. Awesome. Awesome job. Uh, I can't wait to see more coming out, coming from you. Um, I'm sure that now that you've burst that bubble of making a wearable like that, that now you're just going to go gangbusters and you're going to be making up a whole bunch of stuff because <laughs> that's what happened with me. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so have fun with it. Um. We, the weather here has been atrocious. We have had rain, 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 and rain. And then we had hail. Uh, we have, we've got roads that are flooded. Um, we had the town of Merritt, I think it was, up in the Okanagan, was actually evacuated. Uh, so... Um, it like down here on the island, it's just, there's a farm underwater right now. It's insane. And, um, roads are closed everywhere. It's, oh, it's just unbelievable. Um, we have a downpour of water coming from our gutters. We've got the men in kilts coming at some point, but by the time they get here, this whole rain thing is going to be finished. Oh, we tried to call them and say, you know, can you come sooner, please? Because this is, this is ridiculous. Uh, but we haven't heard from them. Well, I'm assuming because they're wearing kilts, they, they don't want to be out in this weather. <laughs> so they're just avoiding us. Um, <clears throat> but at any rate, um, I have, I've got a little video clip here of, what happened yesterday. So oh, lovely. Now we have hail. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh my god. Okay. Now not only do we have flooding and tons and tons of rain, we now have hail. Somebody better build an ark pretty soon. So yeah, that's what we're dealing with. <laughs> uh, and then we had a tornado warning. In BC, Canada, we had a freaking tornado warning. That doesn't happen. Like Vancouver actually had a... I, what is happening to our universe. Um, mm, I don't know. 
I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. So hopefully it's really sunny today. <laughs> so whatever the um, mother nature needed to get out of her system, she did. Uh, I, I'm thinking it's going to be okay for the next few days. I am really worried about the craft fair and whether or not we're going to be able to get to the craft fair if it rains again. Because uh, where the craft fair is, that's where um, between there and here, or between here and there, there was road closures and massive, massive puddles. So I was really concerned that we might not get to the craft fair. So let's hope that this sun stays where it is for a few days. Just, just a few days. Yeah. Um, I thought I'd kind of throw this out there and say, you know, what have you been watching on TV or on Netflix or Crave or wherever? Um, what kind of shows have you been watching? I mean, I spend a lot of time at home crocheting and watching videos. And, uh, and so I started watching movies and stuff. I thought I'd tell you a couple things that I've watched. I, <laughs> I don't know why, but I have gone through a couple of days of watching street food videos on YouTube, street food, you know, like in different countries and, uh, stuff like that. And oh, I'm getting fat just watching these videos. I tell you, if I ever went to Japan or Asia, anywhere in Asia, I would come back so fat, like so fat. It's crazy. And then the other thing that I've been watching, well, this one person that I've been watching, she's very well known in the food challenge community. Um, her name is Ran. Ran. Rain, Raina, there we go. Whew. Okay, Raina. I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. If it's Hung, it's H U A N G. I'll put it here. <clears throat> um, that girl is thin as a freaking twig, and she can put the food in. Oh my God. Um, I have never seen anybody eat as much as she can eat. And I started thinking like, does she throw it up afterwards? Does she like, what does she actually digest this? Like she must have the, um, I just, I just don't even know. I, my jaw is on the ground every time I watch this. Like, what does that do to her stomach? Like, holy cow. Like she eats enough for like, five people. And I kid you not, like it's insane. If you've ever, you should go and check out one of her videos, but she does these challenges, you know, and these food competitions and stuff. And it's like, I, I just, mm -mm. unbelievable, but it's very entertaining to watch. <laughs> um, another thing that I, I just watched yesterday, actually, I've been waiting for it to come out was the jungle cruise with the rock i love the rock um <laughs> he he made me chuckle through the whole movie uh of course like any of his movies he's just hilarious and so nice to watch <laughs> so, <laughs> uh so yeah if you get a chance to watch it go for it i i watched it on disney plus I'm not sure if it's anywhere else yet, but yeah, it was, it was good. It was entertaining for sure. Uh, the other one that we just finished watching, George wanted to see it. I was just like, yeah, uh, was Shang-Chi. I think that's how you say it. Um, was that on Disney plus two? I think so. But He's a comic book character, apparently, uh, in the Marvel universe or whatever. Um, I was really surprised that I liked it as much as I did. Lots of action. Um, 
it was it was a really good movie oh excuse me that was no reflection on the movie <laughs> i just haven't been sleeping well um I, I was really surprised with how well I, I enjoyed that movie. And it's funny because George has been wanting to watch this for a while. He fell asleep during it. And I'm crocheting just watching like. <laughs> and, he, and he's snoring beside me. And I thought, wait a minute. This was supposed to be your movie. But oh well. <laughs> so, so I enjoyed it. So uh, yeah. Um, a movie that I just watched yesterday as well. Yes, I binge watch movies. Uh, was Luca. And I think I did that on Disney. It's Disney Plus as well. It's a kids movie. I've been watching kids movies lately. I don't know why. Um, but it was an adorable movie. It really was. Um, if you want something light and airy, you know, watch Luca. Because it, it's cute. And, um, you know, it's, it's all about these two mermen, um, mer, mer boys. I don't know, but they're, they're, I guess they're mermaids, but they're men, they're boys and they come to the surface. And when they come to the surface, they turn into humans and they bond and they make a friendship. And then they find this other person, this other girl this human girl and make a friend out of her and it's really cute it really is I was watching Lisa from Lisa's crochets video she started making Angela from Ruby Baby's um, Grand Dana cowl hood <clears throat> um, again must have missed the memo because I didn't even know she came out with it I'm subscribed to her channel. It just got lost in the shuffle, I guess. Uh, usually I'm like right on it, you know, but didn't even see it. So I went to uh, Ruby Baby's channel and I found her Etsy page and I went and bought the pattern. I haven't made it yet. I just bought it, um, but it looks like a fairly easy pattern. Beautiful pattern can't wait to do it now that i've got this one sweater finished uh i can probably start working on maybe hopefully maybe getting a couple of them finished for the craft fair uh or at least for the second craft fair um but i'm really looking forward to trying this pattern uh it's it's beautiful it's it's really pretty and i love the triangle scarfs scarves uh, so, and I really enjoyed her Kari keyhole scarf. Um, so <clears throat> I'm really looking forward to trying this. Excuse me. <clears throat> ah, coffee creamer does nothing for me. Lactose intolerance sucks. Um, so anyways, I, as soon as I get them done, I will show you, but if you haven't seen it, go to her channel i will leave that down below and i will also leave lisa from lisa's crochet's channel down below her video because she's made a few of them she's like way gone when it comes to this she's just like whoo i'm going and i'm doing it so yeah uh <clears throat> so yeah i can't wait to to get going on that i saw a video from ashley from stitching ain't easy yesterday oh. girlfriend I just I I can't even the nurse that took care of her at her infusion was I can't even say the words on here the amount of string of profanity that was coming out of my mouth when I was watching this video. <clears throat> she was talking about her last infusion and what happened and that she got kicked out of the program. My heart broke. 
man, if I was there, I probably would have had us banned from ever stepping foot in there again. I would have lost my shit so bad. Um, I'd like to know how the hell that nurse got off saying that stuff to you. And who is, who is she? Like, what kind of authority is she to say that you can't be in there anymore? That is up to the doctors. You know, and that doctor that says that you're not his patient, well, screw him. Where are the doctors that are your, I mean, that are your doctors? Who, where's the doctor that diagnosed you? You know, like, I was so infuriated when I was watching. I was crying and I was angry. And I thought, what is happening to our medical system? You know, I mean, now in the medical system, they're not letting people that aren't vaccinated into the hospitals if they have have an emergency. You know, like this is getting crazy. And um, for, for them to turn you away and ignore the fact that it's actually helping you <clears throat> um, is crap. It's crap. And something should be done about that. You know, like I, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I am so sorry. I, I just, oh man, I would be, I'd be going after somebody. I just, I can't, I, I just don't know how they can get away with that. I just don't know how. Like, <clears throat> this world is falling apart. You know, our medical system is falling apart. Uh, they are dropping the ball all over the place. Um, it's, and this, I mean, that's been happening long before COVID, but you know, like it's, uh, it's a house of cards right now. It really is. So just know that I'm thinking about you every day and that we're sending strength to you. Um, go check out her, ch her channel. Give her some Yarny love, please. Uh, she's in a really bad way. She's, she's mentally, she's not doing so well here. Uh, and I don't blame her because <clears throat> this is ridiculous. So her channel is down below as well. Um, yeah. Oh God. Ugh. Drives me crazy. Okay. I think that's all I had to say. I'm going to go and check and see if that sweater is finished. And I will be back. Okay, so here it is. Um, you can see up close it's bobble stitches and double crochets. Uh, I'm going to tell you this. I took it out of the wash. Holy cow. I don't know if you can see this. Can you see? Uh, no. See this fluff happening right here? Yeah. Look at that. What? It, 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 I don't know what the heck happened, what this is, but it's um it's like my sweater is molting <laughs> it's extremely look at this extremely fuzzy this yarn which i'll tell you about in a minute is what's doing it it's not this yarn it's this yarn and i was wondering about that because it had a bit of a halo on it well it's got a big halo on it now but that's okay because it actually looks really kind of cool it it almost looks like mohair it's awesome <laughs> so i got a collar on it and, oh, and it goes down to about here so 
Okay, I'll go put her on, put it on the mannequin, and I'll show it to you. Okay, so get this box out of my way. Um, I actually really like the way this turned out. It relaxed a lot when I put it in the wash. So now it's like cozy. It's a heavy sweater because I double stranded this. <laughs> Excuse me. I double stranded this. Um, I put, uh, uh, what did I use? <laughs> Burnett Premium, Burnett, no, not Burnett Premium, the Michaels brand, the value brand. I put that with this new landscapes that I got. Um, I just love the colors on this yarn. And it transferred quite well when it was in the sweater. Now I double stranded it because this yarn was a bit too thin for me to work with. If you want a light sweater, then just use one strand, but it won't look like this because I put black with it. So it kind of gives that stained glass effect um but yeah the halo on this stuff i mean you look at the halo sorry this yarn this um lighting's not that great right now you can see there's a little bit of a halo on this yarn but man when you wash it make sure that you wash it in cold water and delicate to dry or lay flat on a towel or something. Holy man, it is like the halo is probably about an inch, an inch, at least an inch uh, on this. And so it looks like mohair. So let me see if I can show it to you up close. Okay, so here it is up close. You can see the, um, see, look at this, Oops. like this comes off, but look at this, like, wow, holy cow. Like, I really did not expect that to happen but it kind of makes it it it's looks kind of cool so like look at that i i kind of like it <laughs> it makes me feel like i'm wearing wool without wearing wool so i mean some of it's out of control but you know i really like it so there you have it. Um, so yeah, it's just bob a row of bobble stitches and a row of double crochet in between. Um, it, it looks really thick and heavy. It is a little bit heavy. Like when you first make it, it's really heavy. <clears throat> and then when you wash it, it's a little bit lighter. But because the, because the bobble stitches have holes in between, the air can get through right so um i actually like it i might do a tutorial on it i don't know i haven't decided yet because this was a big undertaking for me bobble stitches is not my friend um i sure learned a lot i learned how to do them a lot on this sweater though but i only did two rows of them on the arms <clears throat> So, um, I think it turned out pretty nice. So thanks Heather, the crochet witch for telling me about this color. Uh, I used to use landscapes on hats, so I've never actually made it with a wearable before. So this was fun. Um, but yeah, it's, it's an interesting sweater and I can't decide if I'm going to sell it or uh, keep it. <laughs> So 
So anyways, thanks for joining me, you guys. I really appreciate it. And thanks for all the new subscribers. Uh, I'm trying to get to my 3K. So if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button because you never know what you're going to find on this channel. <laughs> so, okay. I love you all. Take care of yourself. And uh, I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.